All right, we're back. So um, before we get any further, um, I know I don't normally ask for this stuff, but I'll go ahead and ask for it now. And instead of just bothering you at the end, um, if you haven't subscribed and you think I'm helping you in some way, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, if not, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't do this as a living. I'm not a YouTuber. Um, I just like to have some of this stuff for my own accountability um, and share with other people. Sometimes people ask questions about uh, what I'm doing and what you know, how to do something, and then I can just tell, take them directly to this video where I can explain things to them. So if I sent this to you, hey, you know what? There you go. You got it. All right. So before we go any further, um, what I wanted to go over was on setting up an environment where we can test this stuff out. So if you already have a React environment, whether it's the it's a Create React app or a Vite, which is the new thing nowadays, um, or even if it's not a React and it doesn't have this doesn't have to be React. This could actually work on plain JavaScript, and but I'm gonna use React just because I'm, I'm a fan of React. But um, if you already have something that is React, then fast forward through today, not today, through to this one, through this video, and go straight into the other videos where I actually explain, you know, the uh, the structure of each API. But um, they, this video and maybe the next one because it's probably gonna be a little long. It's going to be just about creating an environment um, and setting up the environment so that we can actually work on this. All right, so let's get going. All right, so the first thing I'm going to need is I'm going to have to create um, somewhere a, um, a folder where I can work. So I'm gonna go into my, um, into my finder, I'm using a Mac. Um, so you're welcome to, you know, Go ahead and do this on your own and I'm going to make a new folder where I'm going to keep my stuff and what are we going to call this so I'm going to call this API um, yeah API just like that API structures a API YouTube why not API YouTube all right and that's just a folder the actual application could be called something else all right so now I'm gonna go ahead into my um, um, Visual Studio here. I'm not gonna explain how to get Visual Studio. I'm not gonna explain that you need Node and all of this other stuff to create React. If you don't know how to, if, if this is already a new thing for you, if this is already new, um, air, new uh, uncharted territory for you, then I suggest that you look up all the videos, mine, <laughs> where I help um, set up Visual Studio Code and Node and set up even more stuff that you're gonna need in order to even use React at all, okay? But I'm going to assume that you already have all that stuff in place and that you are ready to use React or, set, or ready to set up React in your computer, okay? All right, so I'm gonna come over here and just open up my new folder. Um, if I remember where I put it, APIs, is that it? API YouTube, that's not it. Uh, API YouTube, where did I put it? I'm gonna, right there. All right, I'm gonna open it up. And then now in there, I'm going to create <coughs> my folder. So I'm gonna open up my terminal here, which obviously, you you know, you, you have a terminal most likely um, somewhere else in, in your, in your, um, like the new terminal, you know, the, the normal terminal for your computer, you can use that. So you're gonna go in there and uh, you're, and then you're going to, actually to make this a little bit simpler to understand, um, I am going to pull up, because this actually might be a little bit new territory for you. If you go to vjs.dev.guy, it would explain what I'm doing right here. And it's basically, I'm starting an application using Vite instead of using Create React App, okay? So just basically grab this right here and come into your folder and type npm create Vite latest. Project name, we're gonna call it uh, via API Vite, whatever, that doesn't really matter. Here's where you can actually choose what you want to use this on. But like I said, we're gonna use React, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm not gonna do TypeScript this time, so make it a little bit simpler. 
and that's it it's already done so now all we need to do is CD into this application so uh, instead of doing it this way I'm just going to open folder and I'm gonna open open it here that way I I have the root available for me all right all right so now that I am in there um, <clears throat> I'm gonna open my root again and I'm gonna create npm install so that I can install all my dependencies and that's gonna take a second literally a second <laughs> All right, so now that I'm there, I am ready to run this application. So if I type npm run dev, which by the way, how, the, how am I getting that npm run dev? It's basically from, where are you? npm run dev, oops, what the hell? I hate that it does this double clicking thing. Anyway, npm run dev basically runs beat, okay? All right, so now what did I do on this? just back out of there npm run dev hit enter and boom done that simple so I'm going to click or hold my control key or command key and open up into a new a new tab right here on my localhost terminal and there is my Vite react application already running and it's working this is just what comes out of the box with Vite so it's pretty easy pretty simple to set up and now we're going to use this in order to start creating our application and start running our application so before i actually close this off because it's actually um we can do a little bit more before we close this off i want to set up a couple more things um and i have already a folder with um that's why if you see me changing my the, the, you know my attention to another screen it's because i have um a structure of how i want to explain this and also because i have information there that i need to share with you um, but I have a database that I'm going to share in the comments or maybe not in the comments But as a file that you can download it from there and that is going to be the structures the API structures that we're going to use in order to test this out so I'm gonna come over here to my um, Source folder right here. See where it says assets and I'm going to create a New file in there. I'm gonna call it DB for database that JSON and then in there, I am going to post uh, paste my my API structure. Don't worry about this. Um, you know, that I'm gonna have this available for you so that you can have it. And basically, I'm creating this application into World War II um, allies and enemies. So basically, it's gonna be the good guys and the bad guys. And then this one is going to be so that we can use it with object of arrays then this one is going to be for array of objects this one is going to be for object of objects and this one is going to be for array of arrays so if you notice the structure in this one is an object as you can see right here and this object has arrays inside it this one is going to be an array of objects so you can see that it has an object i mean i'm sorry an array and then the arrays have two objects one object and two objects so it's an array of objects this one is an object of objects. So it's basically an object here, and then that object has these two objects inside it. And then this one is an array of an arrays, which is an array that contains two arrays inside it. So arrays, and it has two arrays in it, okay? So this the, the good guys and the bad guys are split up into two arrays. Here they're split up into two objects. Here they're split up into objects also, and here they're split up into arrays. Now notice that some of them have a prefix in front of it and some of them don't, but that's just the way that it is when you're depend depending on what is coming behind it. If you if if an object is the one that is in, in encasing something inside it, then it has to have children of an object have to have a key. It's a key value pair. So because this is an object, its children has to have a, a key and then a value which is the array. Notice that this one doesn't have it because it's an array, it doesn't require a key. But this one, because it's an object, it requires a key with its own value, which is also another object. This one is an array, it doesn't have a key because it doesn't require one. So that's the only reason why you see that is that there, there's a little bit of a difference between them. Um, but these are primarily the four major structures that you're gonna get from an API.
okay so now that I have this set up I can save that and then I am going to also in this video show some dependencies that I want to share with you that I want you to put on there and then we can just basically stop the here and then work on on the actual building later so before we move on I am going to open up another tab right here and I'm gonna and you're going to put this um, packages in so that we can start working so we're gonna put npm install you can just put I or install and I like to put this in my dev dependencies inside here inside my dev dependencies so just put them there and um, we're going to put at no, I don't think we need that one um, one second to look through my list um adjacent server okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need a adjacent server and we're gonna need that because we need to supply that data that you see there in that JSON file to us as if it was an API so we need to have this fake API server so we're gonna do that one let's just do one at a time so you don't get lost and that's going to install <clears throat> the next thing is we're going to do just key up so that you can go back and then delete that and we're going to put a react router dumb and we're gonna need that one because we want to make sure that we create some kind of navigation uh, bar on the top so that we can navigate and have a page for each one of these that way it'll make it a lot easier for you to distinguish uh, one from the other and keep keep a sample of each of them instead of deleting everything and restarting for every single structure so basically this will be feeding one page this will be feeding another page this will be feeding another page and then they'll be separate and they'll be easy to understand so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and I believe those are the only ones that are going to be needed that are oh well of course and then the last thing that I wanted to um, put in let me see make sure here that I'm correct yeah looks like it okay the last thing we're gonna need is going to be um, material so um, let's see I'll just pull it up from here so you can see it material UI and the reason why I'm making what we're going to do material UI is because it's just a little easier to set up a navigation bar buttons and stuff like that with components that are already pre-built instead of having to deal with a bunch of CSS and build everything from scratch it's just gonna take longer so I'm just gonna copy this right here and go here and paste it and that's going to install material emotion react emotion styled and I believe there is one more that is not listed there that I want you to put in um, so react styled okay material yeah that's in lab MUI lab MUI lab so that's the only one that is not there that I want you to put in MUI lab only because it brings in some extra elements of um, of material UI that are um, in here where are you let's go to the components components that are going to be in here in the lab in the lab in this folder right here um, I know we're not gonna use masonry and timeline and things like that but there are some tab components there that you could use honestly I don't think I'm I don't think you even need it but just add it anyway because it doesn't hurt so just go ahead and do that and that's going to finish and just make sure that everything installed correctly it should not break this everything is fine everything is great go to the console to make sure that everything is copacetic and go to the console and the console is empty so that is a good thing all right so now I can put that aside and you know what let's just stop right here take a coffee break take some water break do whatever you got to do and then when we come back on the next video we're going to actually set up these pages and the path and the navigation and all that so that we can have um, more stuff set up and easier for us to navigate through our project all right all right see you in the next one